Okay, good morning YouTube. Just a really quick video here. Wanted to go over something with you. Uh, I did a video a while back. Uh, Jonathan Cleck cracks and threatens violence. And in that video, I pointed out and asked the, the question, the obvious question, why is it he has this demon Baphomet on the back of his head? And also, it looks like a picture of Satan with horns right here. So I get up this morning and I got a message from this uh, child of the ancient. And he says, all you false prophet hunters got no game. If you've been paying attention, Jonathan has explained several times that the signs and symbols are everywhere. You literally can't get away from them. It's on all the clothes, all the products, music, media, entertainment. What he teaches is scriptural and accurate. All you have to do is read Genesis and use the concordance to understand the truth of what happened in the garden. We are a hybridized species. I'll repeat that. We are a hybridized species, he says. Um, the signs and symbols are everywhere. You need to wake up before it's too late. Okay, so here's the lie. Notice the, the pinned comment right here directly above his comment Jonathan Clegg's Twisted Targum Exposed and he gives the link again that's on this video here Jonathan Clegg cracks and uh, threatens violence same one that uh, I asked Jonathan I says hey please you know you're into signs and symbol, symbols please explain to me why you have this sign of a demon slash Baphomet on the back of your head and also one in your office but I just want to uh, explain to you that um, the devil is a liar and we have to be uh, aware of his devices. Scripture says that he, that he comes to steal, kill, and destroy, John 10.10. 10. So what's he trying to steal? He's trying to steal God's kingdom. He says he wants to set his, his throne above the stars. and. Uh, rule over the mountain of God basically so here we got um, John 10:10. 10, 10. the thief who is the devil cometh not but for to steal and to kill and destroy I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly and there's other translations that say the exact same thing pretty much and um then you have to get to Matthew 13 that talks about letting them grow together again there's the wheat and there's the tares okay two separate seeds the guy that I was just talking about here he's basically trying to lump us all in one basket that's a deception and that's Jonathan's game he's trying to say that uh, fallen angels uh, created us and that's not that's a lie of the devil so I mentioned to you again um, 2 Corinthians 2 9 lest Satan get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices well that's what I'm doing here I'm trying to point out his devices basically he's twisting scripture he's twisting the truth and that's what all these Jonathan Kleckite followers do they back up their cult leader and um, so you know you guys need to be aware of what's going on and here's the scripture I talked to you about Matthew 13 29 it says let both grow together until the harvest in the time of the harvest I will say to the reapers gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn okay so there it is open and shut there's apples there's oranges there's sheep there's goats there's us and there's them um, the Bible couldn't be more clear also first chapter of John uh, clearly states Jesus created all things so this fantasy 
this fiction, this false doctrine that Kleck is teaching, claiming that fallen angels created man, is exactly that fiction. Don't buy it. Don't go for it. And uh, with that, um, we need a little bit more involvement. Uh, I'm getting a lot of, uh, you know, thumbs up and good comments and things on the, on the on my videos, and I appreciate that. But the trolls are taking over. You guys are slacking off a little bit. I appreciate the ones that are involved. I appreciate the ones that are aggressively promoting this and spreading this because you know this isn't my gospel. This is this is what the Bible teaches. I got it on the screen right in front of you. So uh, do me a favor, please, and support the Lord Jesus Christ. Spread His gospel. Spread the truth. Expose these false teachers. Um, I go to some of your sites sometimes. I go to your channels and I see what you watch and I um, see who you subscribe to because I want to know who you are. I want to know what you're about. I want to know if you can be trusted. I want to see what kind of videos you're sharing with your brothers and sisters. So that tells a lot as far as where your head is. So uh, get in the game because it's not a game. And um, be, stand up and be counted because it's getting real. The enemy is unified and uh, the church is fragmented and splintered and uh, most of you seem to be afraid to step up but um, if God be for us who can be against us, right? I'm with you and uh, I'll fight along by your side I just hope it's reciprocal and with that, have a great day. God loves you. Stay close to Jesus. Remember, we're covered in the blood. We're conquerors, more than conquerors, in Christ. With that, amen. Have a good day.